Greetings, and welcome to another episode of my survival series, and I have an invasion, constant, never-ending, never-ceasing invasion. Ah. But, to start this off, I would like to do a little crafting. Yeah, it's usually boring, but something like this. Yeah, this isn't boring. At least in my eyes. A full stack of iron blocks. Yeah, that's not boring, right? Uh, that is pretty cool. I never did that before, and that chest is full. Um... But, now we can fill it in with things like this, and a ton of buckets. But, if you also notice, I have, I have one and a half stacks of obsidian, and that's one and a half stacks left after building this. And it's not complete, but there, it is a bridge between my base and the volcano. It's uh, the walkway is nether brick, uh, nether rack, three three wide by the uh, then the length. Then there's alternating nether uh, nether rack, and then a the, uh, smooth stone half slabs. Up top for railing. I like. Uh, I thought about this. Uh, this might be better. It's just a different design, having like completely surrounded. And then there's obsidian lining the bottom to uh, help with the netherrack and darkness down here. And I'm thinking of adding nether brick fences in between each one of these, for because. Get that uh, dark red going in there, and it goes with the nether portal too. And where am I? As long as they're going to invade me, I'm going to use what they give me. Even if it's kind of like that, which is a waste in a way. But, that's my dirt house. <laughs> but, oh dang, I didn't put this back. Whoops. Oh well, ladders are broken so I could catch some. But I needed to get my water dropped because I was stupid and forgot my uh, forgot water when I was doing this. But, is it? No. Hey. No, what's this lag? Stop lag. No. Ah. Okay. So it's this way. And it's right here. Lava spot where I get all where I got all the uh, lava for the obsidian. I could have used my obsidian generator for um to get the uh lava, but that does use one redstone per obsidian, and that would have been two and a half stacks. No, three and a half stacks of redstone. Although I did have one and a half left, so it'd have been two stacks total used for that bridge. And that was not what I wanted, especially since this lava pool is huge. So what I do is get a bucket somewhere in this mess, like there. Come up here. Fill in this uh, 3 by 5 area, so 15 lava blocks, and then put water in this corner, it creates 15 obsidian. Then I mine it out with this efficiency pick, and we do the whole thing. I do this so it's much easier, so I don't create a layer of obsidian on top, and then lava right beneath, and then it's nearly impossible to get the... Uh, well, no, I can't say nearly impossible, but... Very tedious to get the lava uh, obsidian block, but this lava pool is huge. I originally used it to get the lava for the volcano, 
but right here where this dirt is used to be lava the uh, beginning of the pool and that's pushed right back a bit but it doesn't even look like it's half gone so let's get that dirt uh, dirt back ah but like there are some annoying blocks but this is slowly fading back as I get more and more especially on the lower layers like that one which is causing problems and especially uh, this one that was beneath my walkway and I didn't notice it and it's just like it wasn't letting any of these lava blocks disappear and it's super frustrating until I figured out there was still lava source yep. so overall in this world I haven't done much the past week I was busy getting Beast rule number four out, slippery slope. Um, and also updating closing darkness, which has why well, removed one chest from both lanes and then added another chest with different contents in for closing darkness, and then divided together the one where there's no placeable blocks, no no way to mine blocks. Um, but cobblestone generators are broken, and they wouldn't, the uh, bridges wouldn't be built at all, which was, oh dang, I forgot my water again, oh well, but the bridges wouldn't have been built at all, so, and it was still possible to get the cyan wool, which is the wool after the end of the bridges, but still fairly tedious. And I made matches look much longer than I was wanting. So I replaced it with some... Oh yeah, this is where it comes up. And these stairs are naturally like this anyways. Kind of broken. I wanted the broken stairs. And actually lined up quite perfectly. Because now the stairs are kind of even with the uh, pathways at the same time. Okay, we could get those, but let's haul all this stuff back. Um, nothing's new in the nether. I haven't done anything. You've seen this walkway. And all the mushrooms. The only thing you haven't seen is at the bottom towards the blaze farm, where I use a all the nether nether rack I got for um, a staircase, so a pretty huge staircase, um, right there. And I'm using half slabs to slowly work my way down. The line is just so it's complete, right where I want it where I would normally go up so I could just sprint up the whole thing but it would eventually be all half slabs all the way around when I get cobble that is I've been going strip mining and that gives me the cobble I need but I'm fairly low and I hate gen uh, grinding for it at a generator might as well use it for a strip mine at the same time and I'm thinking this chest area is not a good idea. It just takes too long to get to it. That's the main problem. Um, I really like the idea of it in a ravine, but when you have to ride this rail or run this rail just to get a few wood blocks, that's kind of annoying. I hopped in and out real fast. That's all. That's all. But I now have replenished my diamonds. I still have all this iron left. All this gold is smelted. That'd be cool to get a full gold block. <laughs> Pretty impossible too. But in this area, I have made a major change, as stated before. 
The melon and pumpkin farms are redone. And it actually is melon and pumpkins. Sometimes the uh, top ones get caught on the uh, bottom, but you can just do that. And I don't think there's any lost. There are 16 pistons, 2 of 8 up there and 8 down here. And they give me a decent supply of melon if I'm actually in this area and, let, and it goes. And then the same goes for the pumpkins. But I haven't been in here for a while. I was getting the obsidian and stuff. Actually, I want to store all this coal away. But, yeah, I was in mostly 1.7 recently since I made that. So, no, no melons. Coal. Here's all my enchanted picks, by the way. Soak Touch and Fortune right there. An empty one. A non-used one. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this. Full stack of lapis blocks as well. I needed to one to take one away for the something you'll see. Put those diamonds back and put the redstone in here. I also worked a little tiny bit on the glass dome. Basically, where is it? That much. That's what I did. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's... This stone would get finished in no time. Just no time at all. I already have two. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be expanding these anymore. If I expand it out, it would just take forever for the melons to get to me. And it's annoyingly long as is. Come on, thank you. And I don't really like that. That's why I went up instead, but it's still kind of long for just 8 blocks. And there is actually... Hmm, where's the best way to get to it? Um, this way. There's a snow biome right there, which I can theoretically get ice, push them along all the way with pistons and go to there. But I just want so touch to work on ice again. That's just annoying. Um, a few, a uh, couple new subscribers actually are on the wall. But the best part about this week, the uh, most, the uh, longest project. Nope. One shot killed. Yep. Awesome. Doesn't car get zombies? But I've completed what I've been wanting to complete since sheep regrew wool, and that is. Rainbow Road. <laughs> That's my name for it. I'll call it Rainbow Road. I love that uh, that uh, course in Mario Kart. And I think it's a fitting title for the road in question. Because it is along a road. Let's get this out. Weird stuttering right there, but I guess I could have done that. Comes up the uh, staircase, still little bits like this here. But I have all 16 wool, 4 sheep per pin, pen. I step on a pressure plate, the water pours out, and the wool mostly comes to me. The few don't quite get to the center in time. Whoops. Black wool, the dyes for the black wool. Red wool. I've been getting caught a bit. I focused on green and orange. But I still have it. And these pens are all the same. I got double green from that kind sheep. All my greens actually at the melon farm still. 
because I wasn't sure how much I needed. And the only the two key features are the three the pens with the grass in it for the sheep, the uh, spare grass above that the sh that will spread down below if the sheep eat it all. But that only happened to me when I have like two babies, two baby sheep inside the pen at the same time. Cause the babies eat like once a second. They just go om nom nom, walk around om nom nom, like ugh. Jeez, they're starving little things. But all this grass will help us uh, so never, so I never have to worry about replacing the grass. Ooh, oh, whoops, missed them. And 56 gray, cyan. Cyan's the last one I did, so I have the least amount. Um, what I'll use all this wool for? Decoration. And I have a never ending supply of it. By the time I work my way all the way through, the first pen is already completely regrown. And it's pretty sweet. I like I like this uh, change. I didn't at first because it ruined my uh, my farm. It ruined my passive mob farm, and I worked quite a while on it. Oh yeah, but and it was the last thing I did basically in 1.7, and then 1.8 just changed it right away. Just quite frustrating, but. I'm slowly getting practice with this. Like I was missing a lot before. But they're gonna grief me and invade and annoy me to death. I'm gonna use it. Um Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And Seinfeld's Needs a good center place. It was the wheat farm, and I'm thinking this will make it stand out quite a bit. The survival mode, iron block framed, automatically harvesting wheat farm that I only use to uh, breed sheep because <laughs> I eat melons. But this almost used all my iron. But I'm going to do this for a long time. So I'm glad I finally could. Um, my problems with these. They might spawn mobs. Oh, I forgot I had all those torches. That's pretty ugly. But I still need this to get up to the top of the dome. Ooh. Let's take a look from above. Oh yeah, I did. Actually, I did work all the way around where that dirt is, was where the top was, I think. But now I worked all the way around, and I have that bit there as well. But I'm getting to the hard part. It's more vertical instead of horizontal. So it's hard to remember where every grass, uh, glass block goes. Oh, dang. Who I need to brush up on that skill. Keep shooting people on my own team. Things like that. But we still have... Our floating sheep. That's been there since I first came to this world. And they greased me again. Anyone greased that place again? Actually, I like quite quite like it up here, and I really like the hedges with the glowstone, even in fast graphics. Hmm. Of oh, fancy graphics, I mean. Eh, I don't like it that much. Yeah, let's turn it back. <laughs> but I'm sorry that this is short. If it ends up being short, I'm not sure. I didn't do 
as much as last week in this world, as stated before, my reasons that is, um, this coming week, I have no clue what to really work on. I should work on the dome, but yeah, I'll probably make this place look better. Whoops, I forgot a block there. Um, make it uh, less reliant on torches on the ground. That probably that one probably can go. Um, fix up this pit of the this bit of the road right here, and pretty that up the uh, seed and flower farm. But if you have suggestions, um, maybe I'll go on a quest next week. I don't know. I don't even know what quest will be for. I'm kind of waiting for 1.2, the the official 1.2, to come out to go on any quest quests. Sarmer's so almost dead. Because then I could get jungle biomes, and I would do that cheaty MBT edit thing to get it. And because those things look so cool. And I'm not going to pass it up just because... Well, I actually have to check if see where the snow biomes pop up at, or where the desert ones pop up. And yes, there's revealed redstone, but I don't come up here. Also, 25 subscribers was the only thing that could see it. So, I'm not worried. And there's redstone on that anyways, so... Yep, that's the world for the past week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave suggestions for this coming week, what I should build below. If you have any good ones, I'll be, I'll appreciate, I'll, I appreciate any ideas that you have. Um, I'm fairly stocked on resources, as you saw. So, like 32 diamonds or something. So, it could be a bit out of the box as opposed to like a brand new fresh world what would they do there with no resources um but yeah thanks for watching this is Lungot see ya